In this video, I would like to show you how you can ensure that your character can move up and down the slope in your 2D platformer game. Hi, I'm Peter, and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. This tutorial is about a character that uses dynamic rigid body 2D for its movement system, and this solution will work for this kind of setup. If you have a kinematic rigid body, I will post a link in the description to a different tutorial that can help you out. First, let me show you how I have created my slopes. So I'm using Unity tile maps to create my map, and basically I have the visual part, which is the ground tile map, which contains the tile map renderer. Now if I disable it, next we'll have a ground collider, which is simply the part of the collider that is ground, and it has the ground layer, and it is pretty important. If I select now the slope collider, and enable the tile map render, we are going to see that this is a slope collider. Now, if I enable the ground, you will see that our slope collider has a bit more straight edges so that we can more easily adjust the collider in Unity to match the uh, surface of our slope. And this setup is because I want to be able to detect when we are over the slope collider or slope terrain, so that uh, this is the reason why we have the slope layer on the slope collider. Now the slope collider is using the composite collider 2D to make sure that we have a more efficient uh, collider, but if we leave with this with the default parameters, our collider might be jagged or even there might be some parts where there are multiple colliders. Now to make our collider uh, or collider surface smooth, I will modify the vertex distance to be 0.2 for example, and now as you can see we have those smooth, uh, this smooth surface so that our player will be able to more easily move through it and you can play around with those parameters to adjust it to your needs. But basically this is the main notion of how I have prepared the map. Okay, now let's test our movement on the slope. I can move left and right and I can jump. If I climb on a slope, as you can see I will start sliding down. So this is one issue that you might encounter, that you are going to slide down from a slope and not going to be able to stand still when you want to stop moving. So this is an issue and let's find out how to fix it. For this solution I will need to know when my character is grounded and in my case I'm using this box cast that I'm casting using my custom script and it is detecting if we are on a platform layer mask, on an obstacle layer mask, on a slope or on ground. Now as you might recall, our ground is on the ground layer mask and our slope is on the slope layer mask. So now if I select the ground collider and I press play, I will see that it turns green when I am grounded and it is showing me that I am grounded. And when I'm jumping, my transition from the full animation to idle animation occurs when I check that I am grounded. In the ground detector, I have a public bool is grounded field that is set to be false. And then in the update, I'm checking if we are grounded. And basically this happens by calling physics to boxcast. And based on if I'm colliding with something or not, I'm setting is grounded to be true. That's the basic idea how it works. So now what I would like to do is when I reach the slope area, I would like to set my velocity to be zero so that now our character will stop sliding as well as I would like to set my player a rigid body to be kinematic to stop moving, stop being affected by the gravity. Now to move my character I have implemented a state pattern to divide the different game mechanics into separate scripts. So all I want to do is go to the idle state so the logic behind what happens when I am standing idle. And what happens here is when I am grounded, I want to set the velocity to be vector2.0. So this is when I am idle. What I want to do as well is I want to set the rigid body to be of type kinematic when I enter this idle state, so the idle logic. So basically what you want to do is create a public rigid body 2 d reference, rb2d. And what you would like to do is set this when you start being idle and playing the idle animation. You would like to set this kinem is kinematic to be true. And this is basically uh, making this rigid body unaffected by gravity when we are standing idle. Now this is great, but we cannot be kinematic when we want to start moving or we want to start jumping or whatever else you have in your game. So basically, whenever I want to do anything else, I want to set is kinematic to be 
falls so that our rigid body is again dynamic so we can keep moving so when i enter this idle state i set this to be kinematic so when you stop moving you would set it to be kinematic and when you start jumping or start running or you when you get the input to do those things you would set the rigid body back to be dynamic and basically this is the idea let me save the script and let's go back to unity to test it okay so let me press play and i'm going to start climbing onto the slope and as you can see now if i check my rigid body it is indeed kinematic if i jump or start moving it is back to being dynamic and basically this is the idea so we can fix this issue where we were sliding down now it is all working as expected we are standing on the slope now the other issue might be connected with your way to detect if the player is grounded or not. And this is making sure that when you are jumping, the full animation will turn into idle or run animation exactly uh, at the time when you land on the ground and you may want to play some land sound. But basically there will be an issue because when we are climbing the slope, our character will partially be in the air because we are moving in the right or left direction and basically it is falling down the slope and especially this is uh, this happens when we are moving very fast and when we are transitioning from the slope towards the flat surface or from one slope that has a different angle than another slope so this is an issue because now i'm hearing a lot of those land sounds as well as my character is transitioning from its uh, original animation of running to this falling animation this doesn't make any sense so i'd like to fix this as well so what is going on here and how we can fix it well this is why in the uh, colliders i have set the slope collider to have the slope layer and the ground collider to have this ground layer now since i already know that my agent ground collider is detecting both of those layers as a ground i can be sure that when i stand still it will play the correct idle animation and this is grounded will be checked i would like to also check when i am on top of the slope because if i know this then i can prevent the transition from the idle animation to full animation so i will open the ground detector script that allows me to detect if we are colliding with the ground or not at the top of the script i will simply add three more variables one will be public bool is on the slope property with a public getter and private setter so we can set it through the script and get it from the outside of the script next we're going to have a public clear mask slope mask and next we're going to have a public float slope raycast distance which will be the distance of a raycast and this will be equal to one Next, what I will do is find the method that performs the check if we are grounded. And I'm going to add here the code that our is the, on the slope is equal to physics2d.raycast. And I will pass the center point of the raycast. So this is the origin. Then we are going to pass the direction, which is vector 2 dot down. Next, we are going to pass the distance, which is the slope raycast distance. And lastly, I will pass the slope mask to detect if we are on the slope or not if you are colliding with a collider uh, that is on the slope mask and this will be set to be either true or false and this will be returned uh, to this property so now we can check this property to check if we are above or on the slope or not and this we can use to prevent our system from uh, changing the animation to be falling animation or jumping animation now if we go back to unity I have added this Ondro Gizmos, and this is how it will look like for me. I'm casting the recast from the center of my box cast downwards to detect if you are colliding with a collider of type uh, slope. And in a, my case, this is our slope collider tile map, which is on the layer slope. So this is only this part here. Okay, so the second thing that I need to do to make sure that it all works is go to my states and select the movement state responsible for the movement logic. So here, what I do in the update of this class is I will check if the is grounded flag is false, then I want to transition to a false state, which will make the character play full animation and start falling down. Now here, what I can do is also add an end and check in turn if the ground detector of our agent is on the slope is equal to false so only if those two conditions are false 
only then I want to transition to the full state and start playing the full animation. Okay, well, for safety return here because of my logic, but basically this is it. Okay, great. So all I need to do is to ensure that the ground collider has on its slope mask the layer slope selected. So now if I press play, we will see that I can move around the slope without any problems. And of course I can also use the jump mechanic, but also you may want to implement this change to check if we are on the slope but we are not grounded to be able to also jump when we are moving around. Okay, so this is it, how you would implement slopes into your 2D platformer game in Unity. If you want to learn more about making a 2D platformer using design patterns like state pattern, check out my video course, the link will be in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, see you in my other tutorials, take care!